Okay, it's time for another episode of Neglected Maintenance 101. Here's my poor old O3 Kawasaki ZRX. And it turns out I haven't changed the fork oil in far too long. Um, I decided to check that out while I had the front wheel off for a nice new tire. Isn't she pretty? And of course, when I pulled the wheels off, wheel off, I found my brake pads were pretty thrashed, so time for new pads, but I thought, hell, I've got the thing up, so it would be as good a time as any to go ahead and check and change out the, uh, the fork oil. Uh, before I walk around this a little bit, let me just show you guys something. Now, everybody's got their own different method for doing uh, this kind of job, but here's mine. Typically, when I want to do front end work on this bike, uh, I use a floor jack with a little piece of wood, very carefully raising the bike up enough so that I can slip a um, jack stand uh, under each of the frame sliders. That's that for track days. Uh, it prevents the cases from being smashed up if you, uh, if you drop the bike. And it also provides a very convenient uh, mounting point for the jack stands if you need to raise the bike up. All right, now let's have a look, eh? Here's the guts of everything. There's the spring, spacer, blah, 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 blah. There is the nasty fluid. Yuck that was inside my fork tube. Here is the new fluid just to show you what it's supposed to look like. Bear with me while I you can look at the king while I'm popping this thing open here just so you can see exactly how dirty I let this stuff get. All right. Hang on a minute, I gotta put this down. All right, now if you look here, that's what it's supposed to look like, literally translucent, clear, clear, not like that, uh, which looks pretty nasty, gnarly, and vile. Um, anyway, the deal on this, it's fairly simple. If you don't have the shop manual, what you want to do um, before you actually remove the fork tube from the bike, which you do by loosening the clamp on the triple trees here and the clamps here, uh, what you want to do, um, is loosen this top nut uh, cover first, and then progressively this stuff comes out. There's a little nut here uh, that you have to hold. Um, take all that stuff out, take the spring out, and then you can take your, uh, your fork and just dip it into that, turn it upside down, dump it out, and there you go. In this case, um, it takes about 14 ounces of fresh fluid to refill this puppy up. And once I get it all put back together, I will reinstall it and just a suggestion, um, I find that it's helpful being absent-minded to do one at a time. That way, in case you don't have the shop manual and you perhaps forget the, or the order of reinstallation, you can always refer to the, uh, the other one on the other side that's still together, uh, and that'll usually get you home. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll have all this junk back together by the end of the afternoon and possibly maybe uh, be able to take the bike out for a ride. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a little write-up to accompany this video, and that will be up at epautos.com. I uh, hope you'll stop by, check, check it out, take a look, let me know what you think, leave your comments, pro, con, whatever, and we'll catch up with you next time.